Hello to bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to replace the power supplies of a Cisco switch. This doesn't have to be the same model, doesn't have to be the same brand, but Cisco is the brand I, I have worked most with in, in my career. So this is what I have. So for that end, I'm going to use the Cisco Catalyst 9348 switch. Okay, the concept is going to be the same as long as it has two power supplies, of course, uh, or any other brand. Right. So as you can see, I'm connected uh, using a serial cable. So if you have this in production in the network, that's not a problem. The process is going to be the same. So I have known to be this in the past on which I reset the admin password for a Cisco switch and another on which I upgrade the iOS version for it. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for those videos. Now, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So the switch is on and I'm using PADI for the command line. Now I'm going to type a command show villain just to show you that it's returning information. Now I'm going to type the command show environment all. So this command is going to give you a lot of information about the power supply or power supplies. As you can see there, I have two power supplies. Uh, a and B over there. So a little above, we we see that the temperature at which they are working and uh, the status of the fans. I don't know why I started from the bottom, but that's how it shows. Something I forgot to mention is the status of the power supplies. As you can see, they are okay. Uh, the system power is good. The power over Ethernet is good and how many watts they consume. Now let's go back to the switch itself. So, and I'm going to rotate it and then you will you will be able to see the two power supplies way better. As you can see, we have two over here, A and B, based on the console. Now I'm showing you that the lights, the green lights are, well, they are green and they are on. In your case, if you have a faulty power supply, they are going to be red or they are not going to turn on at all. So that's how you know a power supply is faulty. Also, you might have alerts in big companies, of course. Now I'm going to disconnect the one on the right, like that. So the, uh, the power supply is dead now. However, the switch is still working because of the other power supply. So now, um, uh, allow me a few seconds and we're going to go back to the console. And as you can see, uh, for power supply B, the, the status is not input, no input power and the system power is bad because of course it's not receiving power. Now let's go back to the switch. And now we are going to remove the power supply like that. It's pretty simple. They are kind of heavy. Uh, you need a replacement. Uh, you need the same model, of course, to, to replace it. Uh, as you can see, the power supply works with only one. I mean, the switch works with only one power supply, so that's not an issue. Now I'm going to connect it back. And we, when you connect it back, back it's really quick, uh, less than two seconds, maybe one, and it, and it starts to work again. So I'm going to remove uh, the cord for power supply A, and I'm going to remove it and the switch still works. Um, so that's, I like that a lot. That's why these switches are for uh, big companies or medium size. As you can see, we have some errors over there that power supply B is restored or is not responding when we remove it and when, when we put it back. So we're going to connect back power supply A and now the cord, of course, like that. And less than two, less than two seconds, the two green lights are on. So. Now let's go back to the console and we're going to see the errors. Power supply A recovered from a sustained overload condition. Um, power supply A is faulty and then is restored, right? So I'm going to execute the same command that we did at the beginning. And now both power supply A and supplies A and B, the status is okay. The system power is okay. The power over ethernet is okay as well. And that's how you replace a faulty power supply on a Cisco switch. So if this is in production, you just go, well, you have your tickets and all that, right? You schedule it and you remove the faulty power supply, you put back the replacement and that's it. There's no downtime. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.